Hey guys, I want to take a minute and uh, talk about Dear God, which is uh, one of the songs off of my B-Sides record that I put out um, around the summertime of last year. So I want to just answer a few questions about that. Um, I actually wrote Dear God uh, from about 1999 until 2010. I came up with the first verse uh, when I was still in high school and stuff, and I, it actually molded over time. Um, until, you know, about two years ago. The song is actually about uh, being an artist growing up in a, an environment where you're looking around and there's all these different outlets, there's all these different things going on, and, you, you know, you're trying to do something that's pure, something that's not gimmicky, and... You're dealing with people that are running their mouth about you from different angles that you don't even know these individuals. And it's almost like I, uh, coming at something going, hey man, you know, I'm trying to do what I enjoy doing, but I've got these people that are completely and utterly <laughs> opposed to what I'm doing, even though I'm not trying to harm anyone. I'm trying to actually bring a little bit of light to the world. Uh, yes, it's a complete and utter personal story. Uh, it's directly reflected about me and it, it makes me, um, it's a song that helps me get through certain time periods. It's a song about not so much striking back at another individual just because they might say some harsh words about you, but it's about trying to look at the world and go, hey man, you know, despite hardships and, you know, pain and stuff that I've had to deal with personally, it, it, for me it's about looking up and saying, you know, uh, as a human being I want to say something really directly mean and harmful back to this person, but, you know, I'm asking a greater power, you know, God to say, hey man, just fill me with love so I don't have to strike back like I feel like I want to, you know, I, I want to be a better person, so help me deal with these situations in a better way. And my favorite, my favorite lines in the song is the line, monuments are built in the ocean of my mind. I don't always make the best decisions in hindsight. Um, I kind of view it, you know, in my mind as, I, I kind of view my there's there's this ocean, and the ocean basically represents rebirth to a certain degree. And there's these cities, there's city buildings that are sitting on top of it. And uh, each building represents like a human experience. And there's like a forest that grows around it. Um, so it's like a city sitting on the ocean with trees growing around it, as weird as it sounds. Uh, uh, the trees represent mistakes. And without those mistakes, you wouldn't be able to build um, these buildings. Without certain, certain aspects of just human, being a human being in general. Um, you know, that's my favorite lines of it. Because you, most things are built and you're able to go into a positive direction off of negative experiences in your life. I know that sounds insane, but I'm an artist and, and I don't particularly have to think inside of a box all the time. So I think to a certain degree, um, for me, just me personally, I'm a, uh, I guess most of my friends would uh, kind of say I'm outgoing, uh, but a lot of them know I'm very uh, a very personal person as well. Uh, for me, it's something I've always struggled with, uh, being a songwriter, putting something out there that uh, other people could look and see uh, a weakness to. You know, I, uh, I kind of always view that song as a weakness, you know, a... Uh, I guess it makes me feel, you know, I'm 
as an artist, I'm trying to grow constantly, and it it just makes me feel like, you know, I want to put something out that maybe could help another individual that's in a similar situation um, look at it and go, hey, man, this is someone that was in a similar situation to me, and this is something I can listen to, and it'll help me through my, you know, darker times as well. Um, I actually have no idea why it's one of the top selling singles I have. It was I uh, recorded <coughs> in my basement uh, live. Uh, one of my buddies, Tom Miller, came down. Well, he was down from Baltimore. We were all jamming, and he was like, "Hey, man, I'm gonna. I got my recording stuff with me. We should record some of these live songs." And I was like, "Well, cool, man. Let's record some of these songs or whatnot." And uh, we ended up setting up a uh, mic in front of my guitar, and we set up a mic in front of my mouth or whatever, and I was singing played it at the same time and I couldn't tell you I, I I think it's the antithesis of what you hear on the radio um, with everything being super overly produced I think it's um, a real song it's definitely got substance to it it's uh, definitely a song about struggle uh, I think it's definitely a song about um, Realizing we all have limits, I think it's a song about knowing, you know, and feeling like you know society might, you know, with a lot of music it makes you feel invincible. It makes you feel like you're untouchable, you know. And this is a song that basically says you're not, you know, you're you're very much vulnerable. You know, to a lot of aspects in life, and um, you know, and it, we're all fragile, and I think that might be why, you know, people can relate to it. Well, some people in this town like to use my name. And they don't always say the most pleasant things Well, some people in this town like to use my name But I ain't gonna let them rain on my parade I'm not gonna enter in no war of words Cause then things would never change you know then and I would be the same Dear God, could you send me enough love so that I could learn to love those who hate me for no reason at all Dear God, could you send me enough love so that I could learn to love those who hate me for no reason at all I'm holding on Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm holding on Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm holding on Yeah, yeah, yeah Dance on the edge of the universe more than I should Love is the greatest gift of all dear spirit could You send me a love that this world could learn A love that this world could never burn Dear God, could you send me enough love so that I to love those who hate me for no reason at all Dear God, could you send me enough love so that I could learn To love those who hate me for no reason at all Yeah, yeah, yeah.